Walmart is known for having the weirdest customers of all. But what happens when those customers think they're above the law? Okay, you have something in your sock there, sir. Turn around the other way. Wait, right, my lawyer take it. No, Put your hands my gun is right here. What do you got there, bro? <laughs> He's lying about okay. shit that I, that, that, okay. that Here are five times when the people of Walmart got arrested, starting with Albert and Honesty. On January 26, 2022, officers were dispatched to a Walmart store after reports that two customers were trying to de-tag items. On arrival, they approached the individuals and the resulting interaction seemed calm, but as it progressed, things quickly took an unexpected turn. You guys doing okay? Yes, sir. Yeah? Okay. Uh, well, we got uh, we got a call here. Okay, we got a call here from management, and um, you know they said that they uh, have you guys been uh, trying to uh, take the the tags off the, the clothes. No, sir, no, no. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay. You have something in your sock there, sir. Turn around the other way. Oh, it's my lottery ticket. Oh, your lottery tickets. Okay. What okay. else is down there? Yeah. Don't do anything stupid. Okay. The store manager reported that while he didn't catch them detag any item he saw them suspiciously checking for hard tags. So the cops wanted to know if that had changed and if they had stolen any merchandise yet. But in doing so, they noticed something completely unexpected. Stop. Stop. Look at this. No, 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 no. Let me have your hand. Stop. Let me have your hand. Come on, buddy. Come on, come on. Hey, sir, that's not no, no, let me see it. Sir. Let me see it. And Open up your hand. Okay, you got it, sir. Uh, sir. You're going to get changed, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Sir, okay. Back off. Sir, that's my money, sir. It's funny. Back off. Sir, oh, wait. It's my money, sir. You're, You're going to have a big problem if you do something stupid. Money. You understand me? You have something in your sock that you shouldn't have. We tell you not to do anything dumb. All right? The business wants you trespassed. Okay, and then you start trying to hide it in your hands and everything else. All recorded. Okay, that's fine. Okay? My money. Under, yeah, so we can work through that. Don't be dumb, is I'm what sorry. I'm trying to okay, say. Sir, I'm sorry. Yeah, okay? okay? The officers grabbed and detained Albert after they noticed he had a foreign object in his sock. Honesty was cuffed as well after she was caught kicking away items that fell from Albert during the struggle. The officers then began a search of their belongings, and although they were in search of stolen clothes, they stumbled upon something much worse. That's what I thought. Yeah. That's what I saw. What was that? We'll figure it out in a minute, man. Okay? All right. Ma'am, are you going to walk with this officer? I haven't patted him down. He was concealing in his pocket and trying to get stuff out. I have a sock. Get him to the unit and let's pat him down properly. Albert was found to have what appeared to be drug paraphernalia in his possession and was taken out of the store for a thorough search. Meanwhile, Honesty was held in the store and the cops further confronted her with some very strange items. In her pockets, in her yeah, it was in her pocket. This belongs to him, right? Yeah, and then this. The cash belongs, belongs to him. him. Yeah. That was in her, was in her pockets. Yeah, what she is? says it's from here. It their underwear, from their kids' underwear. This, I don't know what it is. This is from here also, correct? Yeah. yeah. Okay. You're going to get a citation as long as you don't do anything stupid. And you're going to go about your business. Okay? okay? Well, just some underwear and we'll figure through this, but I like I said, more in my bra. you have more clothing in your bra? Yeah, it's underwear. You have any drugs? Any other drugs on you that I need to know about? No, I'll That's shake true. it all out. Okay. I'll shake it out my bra. We'll get it out over here, okay? Go ahead and. Yeah, take that. Yeah. Do you want me to okay, get sir. it out? No, we're not, not right now, but yes. We're going to walk to the front door. After the dialogue, Honesty was taken out of the store for further questioning. She seemed very cooperative with the police and even admitted to having stolen merchandise on her inner clothing. As such, the cops mentioned handing her a citation. That seemed to be the case up until Honesty got out of the store and the cops noticed a sudden change in her attitude. Okay, what's his name? Um, you Your wanna, boyfriend. You want to let him do all that? He's going to do it too, but what's his name? I'm asking you because you're with him. Your boyfriend. Yeah. What's his name? I just don't want to... I don't want to deal with that. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, you're obstructing an investigation at this point. This yes. one you can go to jail because I'm asking you information relative to why I'm present. Mm -hmm. Okay. Of him identifying himself, you helping me to show, because I have it on camera, you guys are together, you calling him baby. I want to verify your, your guys' story. Okay. okay. What is his first name? So Conley Elementary? I can get in trouble for not saying that. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I just need his name. I'm not asking for his date of birth. Okay. Can I get in trouble for not wanting to say anything about another person? Or? Do we really want to go down this route? I'm just asking what their name is. Okay? His name, your boyfriend's name. Mm -hmm. What is his name? Cool. His name is Albert. His what? His name is Albert. Last name? 
Hmm? Thank you. The officer was successful in getting the male suspect's name from honesty, even though she felt his approach was unconventional. She had been read her Miranda rights by the cop, so she was legally allowed to remain quiet. But that didn't make the officers act entirely unlawful. In most states in America, officers aren't bound to be truthful, and it is completely legal for them to lie during an investigation, especially when in pursuit of vital information. But suspects, on the other hand, aren't given that privilege, and the male suspect was surprisingly found guilty of breaking that law. So it's not Angel, it's Albert? Huh? It's Angel or Albert? Albert. You said Albert's Angel. My, Albert's on the way. You said Angel, man. It's Albert. Cut your f***ing shit. We're not playing this game. Good job, you just kind of got yourself another charge. Brother, you can help yourself right now, or she's going in. Or I can cut her, or give her a citation and cut her loose. What do you want? You're gonna keep, you're gonna keep lying? Okay, she's got shit, she's got stuff on her. She's got stuff on her, okay? What? That's what you want. You, you want her to go in with you? That way both of you can walk in with hands? Hell? The cop confronted Albert about his earlier deception, and Albert owned up to it. He seemed to believe that his girlfriend had committed no crimes, and the cops couldn't charge her with anything. But while the cops noted her initial reaction, they had some incriminating charges against honesty. Guy doesn't want to put his hands behind his back, so we have to forcefully put him back there, put him in cuffs. Um, the girl, while we're doing that, keeps walking up and trying to kick the drugs that he dropped out of the way. So she had they have, they have, they have, they have Yeah, they have everything here, sir. We got fentanyl, oh, geez. We do. meth, and heroin. All three food groups? Yeah. Tampering or obstructing, either way, because there's the, there's the tampering misdemeanor. Do you want to copy of positive 20? She has warrants. Go ahead. For honesty, she's coming back with the mini 40 for concealing identity. She has a non extraditable 40 out of El Paso for. Looks like bail secured bond with the original charge of code 16. It's not extraditable. Albert and Honesty were charged with shoplifting, resisting, possession of drugs, and tampering with evidence. Information about their previous warrants or their trial proceedings is unknown. But the next suspect made a daring attempt at escaping arrest. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Drop the stuff! On April 11, 2022, an officer looking through a Walmart CCTV feed caught a man stealing clothing items. The officer went after the man immediately after he left the store, but the aftermath was very shocking. Come here, dude! He's going all the way towards the front again. The shoplifter, later identified as Robert Banks, ran into the Walmart car park and in between cars in an attempt to lose the cop. This didn't yield the intended results, as the cop easily managed to gain on him. Robert then began apologizing to the cop while he made a run for his car, but that resulted in something extremely disastrous. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Get out of the car! I'm sorry. Get out of the car! I got t-shirts, I only got t-shirts. I only stole t-shirts. I only stole t-shirts. Shut up. Give me the keys. I only stole t-shirts. I only stole t-shirts. I only stole t-shirts. What do you got there, bro? Nothing. What do you got there? I only got t-shirts. I only got t-shirts. I only got t-shirts. Down on the ground. I only got t-shirts. Down on the down on the ground. Down on the ground. Down on the ground. Get your hands on your fucking pockets. Down on the ground. Put your hand on the fucking ground. Look, officer. My ass is up. My ass is up. My ass is up. My ass is up. Turn over. My ass is up. Turn over. Turn over. I know you're behind me. Turn over. Turn over. I can say the fucking again. I'm so t-shirt. Oh, so shirt, teacher. I'm sorry. Oh, so shirt, teacher. Give me your fucking hand. Oh. Robert was pulled to the ground and handcuffed. He emptied several pockets and pulled various objects out. Even while claiming he only stole T-shirts, he seemed very persuasive in his attempts at convincing the cop to let him go, and even stripped himself in the process. He appeared ignorant of the reality of his situation, and while he was being searched, he made a very shocking request. Right here, right there. Let me ask you a question. Can you give me my keys, please, sir? Let me figure everything out first. I'll figure everything out first. I didn't know you were behind me. Please, sir. Can you give me my keys, sir, please? 
Joe Biden and Obama are just another point. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So you can call his mom. You don't need the keys to call his mom. Oh, yeah, so so you can call his mom. You don't need the keys to call his mom. Right, this is my car keys, sir. Let me figure out the I just want the car today. As I said before, please. I just want it today. The officer was confused after Robert's wife requested the car keys to call his mom. It appeared she didn't have a license and so could not drive the car herself. The commotion between his wife and the officer seemed to catch up with Robert as he looked very anxious and explained that he had recently bought the car. While the cop wasn't certain about his claim at the time, he held on to the key and moved to frisk Robert, but that prompted something completely unexpected. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm just sitting from. I'm fucked up. This is the jacket. I don't want none of these. This is the jacket. Just go sit in here. Can I just take the jacket off? Take the jacket. I don't want none of these. I'm fucked up. Just gonna take a night pitch. I got nervous. So you can't start reaching in your hands, in your pockets like that. That's why I drew my gun out on you. Because if you pull a gun on me, I'm not. I'm not going. I'm not nervous. All right. I'm not gonna. I'm going home at night. Oh, is he done? Oh, yeah. You start reaching in your pockets like that. Oh no, I'm sorry. So, you know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sir. So our policy and procedure says you have to be processed at detention because of everything that happened with this incident. If you had just stopped in there and said, okay, I'll give you the stuff back, you would have handed you a summons, you would have walked away. Okay? But because of everything else that escalated, because of you trying to escape and the actions that you took, you have to be processed. Robert was charged with larceny in the sixth degree and interference of an officer. He spent a few hours in detention before being released on a $2,500 bond. But Edmund and Bird were so violent that Walmart had to be evacuated. Okay, I need everybody out. Out. On July 4, 2021, officers were dispatched to a Walmart store concerning an altercation among six people. On arrival, the officer attempted to de-escalate the situation, but he was unaware of the disastrous fate that awaited him. Before police arrived, they received information that the two sisters, Edmund and Bird, got into a violent dispute with customers and employees. During the dispute, Bird was reported to have pepper sprayed another customer, while Edmund threatened and hit employees in the face. The cop managed to detain Edmund and calm the situation while another officer arrived to detain Bird for obstruction. But as the officers approached her, things quickly became disastrous. So my sister's pregnant. Well, I said, no, hey, my daughter is right here. Get off of me. Yo, get the fuck off of me. Get off of me. I can't. If you the dog, get the fuck off of me. Get off of me. Get off of me. Get off of me. Get off of me. You're gonna get on the Get track. off of me. I'm pregnant. Get off. Yo. Stop. My daughter is right here. You can't be sick. Bird resisted arrest and backed herself into a shelf. The cop held onto her arm, and with a second swing against the shelf, they both ended up on the floor. Bird attempted to slide off the cop, but he caught up with her and crouched on her side in an attempt to restrain her as he cuffed her. At this point, other Walmart customers and staff had gathered around at the sight of the fierce commotion, but things only got worse from there. <laughs> Edmund kicked a display of plastic boxes and yelled repeatedly at the cops to release her pregnant sister. Customers also yelled at the cops and some even went as far as threatening them to a fight, which then forced one of the cops to bring out his taser. Amidst all the commotion, the cops were able to place Bird in cuffs and proceed to take her out of the store. 
but Edmund still held some fierce grudges against the cops, and her aggressive resistance led to something extremely shocking. While she was dragged away, Edmund turned her head to try to bite the cop holding her, who then punched her in the neck. She went straight to the floor, and the cop counseled against doing it again. The customers went wild, sending derogatory remarks and threats to the cop and informing him that they recorded the incident. Edmund, on the other hand, remained calm about the situation and even informed the customers abusing the cops that she was fine. But her calm composure didn't last long, and what followed after was greatly unexpected. <laughs> Edmund and Bird faced multiple charges, including assault of a police officer, obstruction of governmental administration, resisting arrest, and disorderly conduct. Five days after the event, a protest of about 25 people was held in the parking lot of the police department. Both women were later released on appearance tickets, and the cop who punched Edmund was initially placed on administrative leave, but shortly after was cleared of any wrongdoing. But Paula was even more extreme, so much so that she tried to use her son to avoid going to prison. On May 23, 2022, officers received a report about an ongoing theft at a Walmart store. Upon arrival, the suspected shoplifter was stopped for a receipt check, but that uncovered something greatly concerning. Not up there. I know, I rang up the wrong vacuum, remember? <laughs> Do you have the other one with you no, right now? They're both, they were both on clearance. Ma'am, do you have your license on you? Mm -hmm. Yes. Can I have it? This is ridiculous. I rang up the wrong freaking vacuum, an unintentional mistake. I just spent $250 for $20. This is ridiculous. Paula was accused of failure to scan collected items while passing through several point-of-sale stations. She felt frustrated by this and described it as an error on her part. But the more she was allowed to speak, the more shocking her story became. I have a kid waiting for me. This, I just spent $250. I didn't do this intentionally. I don't work here. I don't know how this shit works. I rang up the wrong vacuum. Oh my god, dude. 42 when I have one mom works here. Like, I'm gonna steal from the place my mom fucking work. All of that was in scan. Did she pass points of sale? That is bullshit that was not scanned. Maybe it's misscanned. Bullshit. Bullshit. And it got deleted off my receipt because I did not not scan. Okay. This is on here. This is on here. This is on here. So, um, you're crazy. I scanned it on the freaking wall. So that stuff was rang up. All right, hold on. Yeah. Lying. Straight up lying. That's on here. It's right here. Right here, right first thing. Oh, and wait, I have something on here that I didn't buy. I, ranked, I scanned something that I didn't get. Did I get a credit for that? stated that she had paid for some items at checkout and several others at Walmart's self-checkout phone tool. This was a huge contrast to her initial claim of an error with the payments, and she doubled down on the new statement by attacking the cop and the employee. But as the officers proceeded to begin questioning, her newfound aggression would cause a very unfortunate event. You're gonna read your rights, okay? I'm gonna ask you a question at the end. I no, just need you to ask. Listen, no, he's lying about okay. shit that I that, that Okay, listen, well, we're gonna ask you. We're gonna listen, ask you. I can't do this. What's her name? I, my kid. Yeah. Like Where's your kid at? Paula. All right, Paula. I have done nothing wrong. Paula, wait, give me a second. Paula's come right back here. I'm just going to read your right here. I'm not going anywhere. Okay. Don't touch me, please. Please don't put your hands on me. I'm calling. Oh, all right. What are you Stop talking resisting. about? Stop resisting. This is all on video. Stop I'm not resisting. resisting. Stop tensing. Okay. 
Call a lawyer. I want a lawyer. Call me a lawyer, please. Somebody call me a lawyer. I can't believe this is happening. You guys, I can't believe this is happening. This is a fucking accident. Are you kidding me right now? Stop turning towards us. You're not listening to me. We tried to no. talk to you and you just no, want to walk you away. Didn't. I didn't. I tried to call a lawyer. And I have that right. Yeah, that's a joke. Okay. Not right now. So now no, we're not. I can't go to jail. Well, you're going now. I, I can't. Do you know what I mean? Paula refused to comply with the cop's instruction and was placed under arrest. She now turned defensive and was willing to say or do anything that would make her avoid jail time. I have a child at home. Who's with your child? He doesn't have a father. He's dead. I don't. So who's with your child now? My mother. Okay. Well, he's a good father. No, I can't do this. All right, I can't. Listen, no, you no, have the right to remain silent. He's like, any questioning. Mommy, you're hurting me. Stop. I am disabled. If you and cannot I have afford a lawyer, one will be appointed issue. to you before stop, any questioning, please, if you stop. wish. Squeezing if you decide me, to stop, fucking hurts. I'm not If kidding. you decide to answer questions without a lawyer present, sick. you still have the right stop. to stop answering at any time. You'll please, no, it's my kid's last day at school. Well, stand up straight. Oh, I can't. I have a bad back. I'm not even joking. I was just in an accident. Would you please stop? You're fucking hurting me. I'm not joking. Stop. You're fucking hurting me badly. Oh, oh, You don't understand. I am disabled. You think I'm kidding? I'm You're so Why won't anybody listen to me? It was an accident. We gave you that opportunity. You don't let anybody no, talk. I tried you because talking. you won't listen to me. You keep talking. I can't explain anything to you. You, the, I am trying listen, to explain the more you, to the, you. The, the, more, I, the more you talk. Oh my God, dude, you guys aren't right. You guys are not right. I'm trying to talk to you. I'm trying to explain you're not. to you. And you're Just because you talk a lot doesn't make you right. That's what you're Why doing. are you being nasty? I'm not being nasty. You are being you're nasty. Yeah, I'm going to throw thing. up. I'm going to throw up. Oh, please don't do Sit. this. I'm going to... Dude, I, am, I need my medication. I can't do this. Okay. I'm going to be you what. sick. I really can't breathe. I'm not joking. Why can't you breathe? I can't breathe because I'm having an anxiety attack. Okay. I'm not joking. Take a few. You think I'm kidding? Take a few deep I'm not breaths. kidding. Please. Take a few deep breaths. Just breathe. breathe. Paula was fixated on proving her perceived innocence and took exception to nothing. She swore on her child and complained of multiple medical conditions and shortness of breath while she screamed. While some officers tended to her complaints, others went into the store to conclude their investigation. And with Paula's claims, they expected to find some semblance of truth to it. But the exact opposite happened. She showed us an original receipt that she paid for with Scan and Go. Uh, the amount that she paid for that I saw was $211. Okay. Uh, all the merchandise that's not food totals up to uh, $620. So so she didn't pay for any of this right here? Uh, I, I can't tell without, you know, her receipt. Uh, I have her receipt pulled up right here. Okay, no clothes on her receipt? No clothes. What about this? Scan an uh, 8 app thing that's uh, that's $36. That one's 52, uh, 58 So she scanned something else for this? Yeah. Okay. Stolen. Guarantee this is stolen. Uh, 1384 1384 well, I, I don't care. It's just going to... No. Didn't pay for it, right? No, I figured. Pool lights, guarantee she didn't pay for this. No. This guarantee she didn't pay for this, hundred percent. I just know I can tell the stuff that people steal. No. No. Paula was charged with petty theft and resisting an officer with violence, but she wasn't as desperate as Kaylee and Justin. She knew you were here and didn't leave. She's just covering for you. I understand that. On December 2nd, 2022, officers were dispatched to locate a couple with active arrest warrants. They arrived at Kaylee's residence with hopes that Justin was there, but they ended up discovering something entirely unexpected. Yeah, I can see her moving around in here. 17 Giving her a couple commands to come out. She's verbally talking with us, but has yet to exit the building. She's on the phone when I saw her right here. It looked like she was going to maybe go into that room. Upon arrival, the officers instructed Kaylee to come out for her arrest, but she refused and insisted on speaking with them through the door. Through a window, Kaylee could be seen pacing through the house while on a call. They had their suspicions about her behavior, but it only increased after they were made aware of a very strange 911 call. 911, what's the location of your emergency? Um, I just got a call from my daughter. She's at the Walmart and told me she said there's someone in there with a gun. 
Okay. And what's he doing with the gun? She doesn't know. She freaks out and rings the bathroom and locks the door. Did she get a description of him? Um, he said he was a white guy, short, blonde hair, black pants. Okay. And how did she know? How did she see that? I don't know. I don't know. She just called me. Okay. Me hold call. on. Hold on one second. Okay. And how did you describe him? She said he was short and white. She said blonde hair, glasses, and black pants. Can you get the information from the daughter and find out if... The 911 caller reported a man with a gun spotted at a Walmart store. And upon further questioning, the call was disconnected. This appeared very strange to the dispatch operator, as well as the police officers who had seen Kaylee pacing around the house while on the phone. So they became very suspicious of her actions, and after waiting endlessly for her to step out, they became very desperate. Open the door so I can talk to you, okay? I don't want to break your grandma's door, okay? But I will. Okay, hold on, okay. Tiffany. Who is this? What are you Hi. Doing? Are you... Yes, what are you doing? It's I'm, a cop. What are you I'm doing? here talking with, with her. Come on in, don't open the door open. All right. What are you doing? Well, she's got to come with us. We got some questions for her. What do I have a felony warrant? Oh, I didn't go sign my bond. Correct, but Spot you also up. have a Jefferson County body only Which warrant. is what we're paying right now. Okay, it's body only. It doesn't have it's a bond associated. It's body only for child support, but if, she, if I pay $1,000 to child support, I have the email, I'll show it to you. Send it to me. Is your, the card connected to Apple Pay? Is it connected to Cash App? Actually, it's connected to Facebook. No. Okay, okay, okay. Just just give me the card number and I'll call and pay it myself. Grandma's right here. I'm sorry. I've been trying to handle this shit. I forgot about my war my bond completely. I just talked to my lawyer this morning. I didn't know Justin had a warrant. Okay. We didn't even know It the looks warrant. like the warrant was just issued, so for oh, him. Here? Yeah. Kaylee appeared to be very anxious and edgy, and that was with great cause. She had two warrants out for her arrest, and she explained to the cops that she was in the process of extending them. She also mentioned that she was unaware of the warrants on her boyfriend, who was reportedly out of state for his mom's funeral. But there was someone else who wasn't accounted for, and upon inquiry, Kaylee became even more frantic. Uh, yeah, my daughter lives hours away, though. Okay. Is she at Walmart? My daughter's in... My daughter's who called you and told you I was here. Okay, but why did you call 911 and report? I didn't say, if I did, it was not on purpose. I bet you've seen me on the phone in here calling people. I didn't see you on the phone. I was standing outside. Oh, no. I was trying to get a hold of her. I was calling a million different so people. So why did our dispatch center receive a 911 call stating that she received a phone call from her daughter who was at Toma Walmart and said that there was a man that walked into Walmart with a gun? I have no idea. What? I have no idea oh, that, no. Ridiculous. no. No, 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 no. Okay, you can say no, 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 all you want, but that number that keeps popping up on your phone is my dispatcher calling you. I was wondering you. who the number was. Yeah, that's the number that called, because okay. you called from this number. Okay, can we go talk in the kitchen for a second? So listen to me for a second. Okay. No, no, put the phone down. I want okay. you to listen and pay attention. Okay. Okay. While we were here, you were inside and refusing to come out. Yes. Okay. You were allegedly making phone calls. Okay. Which I have. What? Why did you call 911 and report that somebody was at Walmart with a gun? Mm, well, I was told that, but I was in a hurry. I, I didn't even do it. I, to be honest with you, I've had about five minutes of a blackout since you guys have been here. I okay. remember nothing. Okay. So back so up. If I did, Let's back up I, to when we, when we knocked on the door and made contact with you. you I were, was on the phone with Justin. And you knew the police were here and we were going to come in to arrest you. Yep, I was on the phone so with Justin. why did you call 911? and report that your daughter called you to report that there was a man at the Toma Walmart with Probably a gun. Probably because I was panicking. Okay, do you know that that's a crime and that's called swatting? No, I did not know yeah, that. Yeah, that's something that to elicit a large police response to a location. I assume you probably did that believing that we were going to take off. No, and we I, were just to be honest you with here. you, I have a lot of I'm not in my right fucking mind. Okay. I'm just freaking out. I keep, my grandma can't be here by herself. I didn't okay. know what to do. And then I You didn't just, know what to do, so you thought you'd call 911 and make a false report. I didn't know what to do. I called 911 and I was going to say something. And then I was talking to my daughter on the house phone and she starts screaming at me. Where's the house phone? In my room. Well, it was in my room. It's in the living room now. There's one right here, too. Okay. Does that show the recent calls? No, it doesn't do anything. That phone sucks. Kaylee admitted to dialing 911 and making the false report. She apologized to the officer and even showed her call logs to seem credible. But that had the opposite effect. While looking through her call log, the officer discovered that she had called Justin while they were on the scene. 
This by itself didn't mean much, but Kaylee started to fidget and look toward the shed outside her window. So with permission from Kaylee's grandmother, the officers proceeded to search the shed, but that uncovered something shocking. It's locked from the inside. And for just so you're aware, we are at the garden shed in the back, and it is locked from the inside. So he's in that back shed? No, we haven't been able to get in that back shed for years. My kids used to play back there. Why is it locked from the inside? I don't know. I had Austin Jones was living in that shed last I knew. Is anyone in there now? No, nobody's been in there. I kicked Austin out when he robbed my neighbor's house. Here's they left a whole fucking trail of shit. Why is it locked from the inside? I don't know. I, ha I don't go back there. Okay. I haven't been back there since I kicked Austin out. I don't know. I have not been back there. Okay. Justin and I were in an argument this morning, and when I was in the garage, when he said his dad picked him up and he left, he texted me. He said he was with his dad. I can show you the message. Okay. I haven't been back to that back shot. I don't go back there. There's a light on in there, too. It's like a little lantern. On so I don't know that he's here. She made several phone calls to him while we were in there, or while she was in there waiting on us. Uh, I would... Oh lead me to believe that he's in Minnesota. Yeah, I'm not here, but this door's locked from the inside, and there's like a bed in there and shit. <laughs> so somebody's there. Kaylee assured the cops that there was no one in the shed, but this was very hard to believe as it was locked from the inside. She mentioned that she had previously let a man named Austin stay there, and he could be the potential occupant of the shed. While the cops weren't certain Justin was in the shed, they knew someone was in there, and they were going to find out who it was. Austin, you in there? Who are you? My name's Justin. Turn around. Justin? Justin. Turn around. Justin, look at that. Yeah. Turn around. Turn around. Get on your knees now. Get on your knees. Yeah. Hands on top of your head. Yeah. Interlock your fingers. Is there anybody else in there? No. Jillian. Justin lied to me! Justin! Anybody else in here with you? He told me he left! Is that true? Did she know you were here? Alright, Justin, stand up. She knew you were here and didn't leave. She's just covering for you. I understand that. Kaylee was charged with bail jumping, swatting, and obstructing an officer. She was released on a $2,000 bond, while Justin was transported for his probation and Minnesota warrants.